Hello there and welcome to a Game Maker tutorial. Now I'm not exactly going to call this one a 3D one or a 2D one um, because it's not really either. Even though you can use it for both, it's not specifically one or the other. So what this one's going to teach you to do is how to um, use about three DLLs that I found were interesting. I may do more in the future, but for right now I'll just stick to three. Um, the DLLs that I'm going to show you how to use are um, the Skin DLL, the Super Sound DLL, and the Transparent DLL. Now what the Super Sound DLL does is, well, it um, plays sound files and it gives you more options. And the Skin DLL, um, it cuts out part of your game and puts it into an interesting shape, whatever shape you want. And the Transparent um, DLL makes your game transparent to the opacity that you want. Alrighty, and okay. So I've stuck two of those into GEX files, the Super Sound one and the Transparent one. And the Skin one I couldn't stick in, but it doesn't make very much of a difference anyway. Um, now for the examples, which show you how to use them, I have one for each. Um, all right, first let's go with this uh, the Super Sound DLL. This one is um, the biggest one. Now what I've done with this one is I've put it into a GEX file. So there's a whole bunch of codes that are inside the game as soon as you stick it in using this. Okay. I should be able to know how to do that from my previous tutorials. Now, here we go. Now, um, it's not too much different from Game Makers. It gives you more options, but yeah, that's about it. Now, for some of you, including me, um, I have problems with Game Makers' um, sound playing system since I can't, for some reason, play big sound files. And anyway, this allows me to do that. So here's what it is. It doesn't look very nice, but oh well. I'm not sure if you can hear it. I, in fact, I'm pretty sure you can't. But um, it's playing a sound file right now. And this, um, there's two variables on top here that I'm, I'm assuming you're wondering about. Uh, the top one is um, how long the, the track is. Now, I'm not sure if that's seconds or, or something. I really don't know. And then this bottom variable is going up because that's how far along it is. And then these two things are going by that. So this bottom bar is showing you um, how long it is, and this is showing you how far along it is on the track. Now, um, also, something I found kind of handy is you can pause it by clicking on it, and end pause it again by clicking on it again. Now, which means you can play it in the middle. And you can also set the position in a different, um, with a different code. Now this is very handy. I like to be. That means that yeah, you can pause and play, which is something you definitely can't do in Game Maker stuff. In well, at least I haven't found out how to yet. So I'm going to show you the basics of this. It's very easy. Only one object. Okay. So at the beginning, here's a code that you need to put in here. Now you won't find this in Game Maker. It's SS in it. You just need to stick that at the beginning just to make sure it works. So now here let's make a variable. Um, sound equals SS load sound evolver OGG. The file has to be an OGG. Um, I'm not sure if you know what that is. Um, but yeah, you're going to have to find a converter to convert your sound files into an OGG. Anyway, so then you have the um, sound loaded in. Um, it is right here. This is the sound file. Okay, so... Um, and then I did this SS loop sound and SS play sound. So this means that it'll um, loop it and play it. So yeah, it's very easy. It even gives you a little um, uh, help file down here. So so yeah, you just have to type in the file name, which is that variable that you put the load sound onto. Now um, these are two variables: SS get sound position and SS get sound length. So yeah, that's how that works. Very easy stuff. Nah, yeah, it's just some more variable stuff to get the. Um, now this is to pause and play it. Um, the pause and play um, scripts is very easy. Um, SS pause sound and SS resume sound very easy. And then it's it, and then this is SS is sound playing. Eh, this this deal uses a lot of S's anyway. Um, so yeah, if 
SS is set playing equals one, then um, pause sound, else resume sound. There we go. So that's all you need to work it. And then this is drawing this stuff. Not too hard. Very easy to do. So yeah, that's all that this one does. Um, yeah. So that one's pretty nice. Now for the skin DLL one. This one, well, as I said earlier, it cuts out your window, which is a very weird and sometimes very handy feature. Um, it goes, it it takes pretty fast to do it. Um, the bigger your skin, the longer it takes, though. All right, so as you can see here, I've got a couple of eyes here, and they're rounded, and there's no window border, and in fact, yeah. There is perfect, all the perfect spheres here. Now, how I did that, well, what it gets it off of is uh, a little picture file. And as you can see here, um, all the black is cut out and the white remains. So, yeah, it's quite easy to use. Now, unfortunately, for some reason, I was not able to stick this one into a Gex. I don't know why, but you don't really need to, so oh well. So yeah, it's very a handy feature, and everything else remains the same. You just anytime you stick something, let's say here, then you can't see it. Okay, now I'm gonna quickly show you how to use it. It's quite easy. Um, this is the um, the code that's very um, annoyingly big and unnecessary. Well, yeah, you're gonna definitely want to download this. Like all of this is in the description. And then, yeah, this is just a bunch of code that calls the DLL. Now, that's really annoying, but it may, here makes it easier. All you must do in creation event, oh, no, wait, not creation event, this event, skin window, and then you type in the name of the um, file, uh, like the texture. Anyway, and then voila, it does it. So you never actually have to touch this script here. Nothing to do with that. You just randomly type in this skin window main skin or whatever the skin name is perfect and then everything in the room goes as normal there we go so yeah that's what that one does now the next one is pretty nifty I think it's the transparent DLL and what this one does is, well, it makes the whole window transparent to, well, anything. Okay, it works pretty fast too. So as you can see here, well, it's kind of chunky because of the screen recorder, but oh well. Um, it is, well, yeah, transparent. You can see all the Game Maker logos behind it. And also, I can change the transparency. Um, I'm holding the up arrow now as you can see it's getting less and less transparent and now it's not transparent at all and now I'm gonna hold the down arrow key and it's getting more and more transparent and wow you can hardly see it at all now I keep going down wow that's practically white that's gone so yep that's what that one does you can set it to anything and it's quite easy there we go. So now I'm going to give you the little bit of the scripts because um, I also was able to stick this one in a GEX file, which means that, yeah, there's just some codes. So there's nothing here. Oh, no, wait, yes, there is, I think. Okay, yep. Yeah. This is the only code set win opacity. And then, okay, so this is the window. So you have to give the window name or code name or something. Um, if you type in window handle here, then it'll be the um, room that you are currently in. And that is very helpful. Um, and then this here is the opacity. So 100, okay, here's the idea. Um, 250 is total opacity. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, anyway, you're not transparent at all. And zero is you're totally transparent. So, yeah, I put it at 100 to start out with. And then after that, you keep changing it. So yeah, that's all that one is. It's very, very, very easy. So um, I will be giving you this whole file. It contains the GEX files, the um, examples, and the DLL files, just in case you want those. 
So yeah, that is all I have to show you for this Game Maker tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.